بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالہ خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے ود اے نیو ٹاپک وی آر ڈن ود کلیمپرس کلیپرس وولٹیج ملٹی پلارس ٹو ڈے وی سی واٹ وی سی اے اسپیشل ٹائپ آف ڈائیوڈ دا موسٹ اینٹیسپیٹڈ ویڈیو آئی بلیو دس از واٹ دا زین ڈائیوڈ رائٹ یس سو لیٹ می گیو دی ہیڈنگ نا لیٹ می ٹیل یو لیٹ می ٹیل یو نو پرٹیکولر ڈفرنس just a little differences zener diode in a simple diode and in a pn junction simple diode this is again the same pn junction diode but <coughs> with a little speciality and what is that little speciality that is of a very great importance and that is what we will see in the next videos the voltage regulation and why is that because the thing is that when this diode is reverse biased so it will act as a constant voltage source this is the the phenomena in it right yes we will understand how now why a zener diode what is the fundamental difference so if you start from the beginning of a pn junction diode you have a p side you have an n side you have a depletion layer in between in the zener diode you have the same thing let's say let's say we 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 revise it let's say we revise it so let me i'm drawing the the pn junction diode over here for instance this is the 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 junction right so you have what you have holes on this side so which means negative with a hole negative with a hole negative with a hole yes isn't it like this it is and similarly on this side you have a positive with an electron positive with an electron isn't it like this Now this is a simple pn junction diode an ordinary one on this side where you can see i will say the doping concentration is less which means the impurity added is less right i will keep on writing it as well so you have to understand it a step wise so i will say the doping concentration is less right yes S let's say i draw the zener diode over here for the same width for the same width for instance this is my junction this is my junction right i would have what negative with a hole and you can see what have i drawn right yes now why is this so over here in the zener diode the doping concentration is high doping is high and this is what plays the overall role similarly on this side yes yes now this is what this has a simple diode we took what we took a p side we took a n type right now what will happen now what will happen a depletion layer would be formed a depletion layer would be formed which means that you know how is it formed basically so the recombination takes place recombination takes place and 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 this is what happens a depletion layer is formed this is the width of the depletion layer wd have a look over here have a look over here oh sorry negative with the hole so over here also a depletion layer would be formed the ions recombination would take place and have a look have a look so over there i also took it for one over here i also take it for one the width of the depletion layer is over here is wd let's say z wd z due to high doping you could see from the figure also a little bit that the width of the depletion layer in the zener diode would be less than that of the ordinary pn junction diode and why is that so you have seen it you have seen it recombination because of the doping level 
Yes, yes. So I could write over here that the W D Z. I would write over here W D Z would be less than the W D. Right? Yes. Is that fine till here? It is. One thing. Okay. Now the diode has been formed, so the uh, when the diode is formed, so the electron would diffuse from N to a B side, P, this one holes would uh, diffuse from P to N side and you have the depletion layer formed, yes? Yes. A barrier potential is established. A barrier potential is established, yes, you know that very well again, that the barrier potential is established such from, P, from the N to P side that the further movement is stopped barrier potential right in both the cases the barrier potential is achieved barrier potential is established for instance if you talk about the silicon diode so the for the silicon it would be a 0.7 volts right 0.3 volts yes it's a 0.7 volts so which means now if the potential with the electron or the hole is greater than 0.7 only then it will diffuse into the other side otherwise no yes you know this very well again but the difference I am coming to this will be achieved from a smaller space in the zener diode have a look have a look the basically this would be the opposition in the depletion layer right yes so have a look this width so this barrier potential is achieved from a longer space over here the width is lower so the barrier potential is achieved from a smaller width from a smaller volume yes yes so this barrier potential in zener diode is achieved from a smaller width the same barrier potential from a smaller width or you could say from the smaller volume or area or whatever you want to say and I believe this is clear till here right yes now what do you have this was just a simple formation of the diode now the forward bias characteristics would be the same of the p-n junction diode of the reverse bias uh, of the of the of the zener diode right the difference is in the reverse bias characteristics and that we see that we see now let's say the diode is reverse biased reverse biasing both so we'll see the effect reverse biasing so reverse biasing means what this is your n side this is your p side so this is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and this one is connected to the negative terminal of the battery similarly over here this one also so let me draw it completely this is negative this is positive negative this is positive isn't it like this it is now what happens is you know very well you know very well that on reverse biasing the depletion layer would widen width of depletion layer would increase and why is this so you know very well this positive would attract the electrons this negative would attract the holes so a further recombination process would happen and a new depletion layer would be formed and this is called what this is called the wd dash for instance if you say I, I i name it like this so this one would be the wd dash similar would be the case over here similar would be the case over here that again the plus would attract the electrons and the holes would be attracted by the negative so what do you have a further recombination and a further recombination would further increase the width of the the width of the depletion layer so for instance this is called a wd z dash again again for the same applied external potential the width of the depletion layer new of the zener diode would be less than the new width of depletion layer of the simple pn junction diode again due to the high doping level again due to the high doping level yes yes from lesser weight the potential is achieved in zener diode from lesser weight 
the potential is achieved. Yes, this would widen less. This would widen less. Depletion layer widens less because of the high doping level and, and, the, and from the lesser weight, the same potential is achieved as over here from the greater weight it is achieved. Yes, yes. The potential difference is the same in both but the width of the depletion layer is different. What potential difference are they talking about? They are talking about this plus to minus potential in the in the depletion region right so the potential difference is the same for both potential difference is same for both but what is different but width of depletion layer is different but width of depletion layer is different And what potential difference? So this positive, this positive to this negative. This potential difference V, this potential difference is the same for both due to the applied external field, external potential, but the width over here is less, the width over here is high. Yes, so where will be more electric field? Electric field. Yes, where would be more electric field? So you know very well, you know very well that electric field is the voltage per unit distance or voltage is what you know very well is E times D. This is for a for a constant electric field right for a constant electric field or this is the integration of E dot DL this is for varying electric field. You know this, you know this or let me write, this is for constant electric field and this one is for a variable electric field. Anyways, we don't have anything to do with considering a constant electric field. Electric field is the potential per unit distance. So over here, if you see, over here, if you see, so the thing is that the voltage is constant for both the cases. The voltage is constant for both the cases, which means we have a dependency on the D. The D is what? The length. So the D is less in zener diode d is less in zener diode so which means the electric field would be high in zener diode in order to keep the same voltage this would be for zener diode whereas over here the d is greater so in order to keep the same potential difference v the electric field has to be smaller and this is the case for an ordinary p-n junction diode yes yes now what happens if i say over here so the ez the electric field in the zener diode would be greater than the simpler e that is for the simple p-n junction diode right the minority charge carriers one other point the minority charge carriers that i have not drawn over here for instance you have electrons over here you have holes over here similarly you have electrons over here you have holes over here what would happen they will also have a certain kinetic energy and it would increase with the reverse bias potential why because this minus would push it toward that side this plus would put this hole toward this side so with reverse biasing the kinetic energy of the minority charge carrier would increase sufficiently it would increase sufficiently and isn't it like this it is so what happens is the minority charge carriers may have high kinetic energy if the voltage is increased sufficiently. So the minority charge carriers may have sufficient kinetic energy if the voltage is increased sufficiently and this voltage is what this is the reverse bias voltage of course 
so what would happen it can knock off electrons from the bonded structure from the bonded lattice structure of the silicon what can it do it can knock off electrons knock off electrons from the lattice structure from the lattice or crystal or whatever is it called what would what would this do what would this do so have a look if you have an electron coming with a high kinetic energy this is a silicon bonded to four more silicon atoms having four valence electrons or how many i don't know five or four so four valence electrons in the valence shell it knocks off an electron so what do you have now you have two electrons because one is this one and one has been knocked off now this electron goes to further two more this one would produce further two more similarly each of them would be producing further two more and you would have a rapid rise in current in the beginning you had a very small current in the reverse bias region that was only due to the minority charge carriers but when the voltage was increased sufficiently the kinetic energy of the reverse of the minority charge carriers has now attained a greater value and you can see an avalanche yes this is what this is called the avalanche this is the avalanche of electrons so a high current would flow through the diode a high current would flow through the diode yes so if this this is what this is due to collision this is due to collision and a high current is flowing right a high current and due to collision one more thing heat will be produced and this heat is large enough large enough that if the voltage is also large and the current becomes so large that a lot of heat is produced due to this collision and this heat does what this destroys the diode this destroys the diode and that is all about the diode the diode has been destroyed due to what the main thing due to the collision because of the minority charge carriers in the reverse bias region when the voltage has been sufficiently increased yes yes and this is the avalanche effect this is the avalanche effect if for instance for instance if i draw it if I am drawing it so the VI characteristics of so you know very well this is V this is I so have a look a very small minority current was flowing and then sufficiently when the voltage became such that this is called the breakdown voltage so you had a, a, a rise in the current you had a very greater rise in the current and this voltage is called the breakdown voltage and this effect this effect this is the breakdown region and this effect is called the avalanche effect and the diode has burned the diode has been destroyed and that is why we do not take the potential of the diode to such level we do not take it to the breakdown level so why because it gets destroyed over there yes yes now for the zener diode for the zener diode what will happen what will happen is that if the voltage is increased the electrons would move from the p to n side but the chances of the collision is very less when the voltage is increased in the same thing the same minority charge carriers the chances of collision is very less why is the chances of collision very less over here because of the narrow depletion layer because of the narrow depletion layer so what is the probability the probability is that the electron would directly go into the n side yes yes so this is the case in the zener diode for the zener diode i've used the red color then what would happen probability is what probably the electrons will go from p to n side without colliding with 
any silicon atom right yes yes now so there is no collision so if there is no collision there is no heat generated there is no collision so there is no heat generated which means that the diode will not destroy in this case which means that the zener diode is not going to destroy but we have a question over here we saw that a rapid current this current was due to the collision so over here what would be responsible for this collision uh, for this current for the high value of current where would the current come from the high value of current so the high value of current would come from this high electric field this high electric field would do what this would be responsible for the current what will it do it will take the electrons breaking of bond the the current would be due to the breaking of bond of course and that breaking of bond would be caused by this high electric field where it would take electron from the from the conduction from the valence band to the conduction band this would take the electrons from the valence band to the conduction band and they would be available for conduction and a very high current would flow through the diode a very high current would flow and that current let me represent so again you have the reverse bias region again you have the reverse bias region and have a look there is no collision this is due to electric field so already we have a very high electric field and similarly if you increase the voltage so again you would have a more higher electric field so which means over here the breakdown voltage would be less than that so the breakdown voltage is less than that of a simple p-n junction diode and this this breakdown voltage for a zener diode this is called uh, the zener potential of the diode and in the reverse bias the zener diode is replaced by this constant potential this constant potential and this effect this breakdown effect in the zener diode is known as the zener effect and we have already seen a video on the avalanche effect and the zener effect but today when we saw the zener diode so this would have become very much clear now yes yes so these are the uh, iv characteristics of the zener diode as well in the forward bias they are the same in the forward bias both of them are the same you have the, like this you have the barrier potential or the knee voltage or whatever when this is achieved you have an exponential rise in current so which means the simple diode cannot be operated in the reverse bias region why because it would be destroyed but the zener diode can be operated in the reverse bias region it would be replaced by a constant voltage source why because it's not being destroyed the high current is because of the very high electric field and similarly the zener potential is also less than that breakdown potential again due to the same narrower depletion layer and and the thing that is causing it the overall thing that is causing it is the doping level the doping level so the doping is very high in this case and this is what is causing the zener diode speciality yes yes so i believe you are clear with this i believe i have done my part still if you have any questions you may ask in the comment section that is all for me for this video see you in the next one very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye